Hey guys, my name's Nate, and I'm the Outer Outdoorsman, and uh, let's continue uh, my Zebrapot mod project. So, in the last update, I showed you the 3D print that I had done, and I told you I was going to make some improvements to it. Well, those improvements came in. Um, so, in case any of you were wondering, the software I'm using isn't that complex, so I'm not getting too advanced into 3D modeling yet. I do plan on getting a bit better into it, but I'm using a, a website called the Tinkercad, um, and it's pretty much, it's kind of like just playing with blocks. Um, so it's kind of giving me, it's helping me get into the mindset of 3D modeling before I really get into it. So it's nothing too super advanced, but let's take a look at what we got. So I made some adjustments to the size, uh, to the length of both the base and the uh, locking mechanism. Um, and in doing that, I had to also, on the hinge point, or the bend point, I had to increase some points. And in doing that, I actually ended up making it more stable, which was weird. Uh, so, let's see. So it's actually bigger, so it looks a lot better. Now, how am I going to 3D print these? I'm not sure uh, when I fully get these done. I was looking at it, the material I've been 3D printing these out of, which is uh, it's metallic plastic, has a heat capacity of, I believe, 70 degrees Celsius, I want to say. Um, but I have to actually give it a better test. But, so this is what we're working with. Um, the problem is with this material is this material is very, very brittle. This is metallic plastic. This is a uh, kind of a... Basically what they do is they, it's a powder that then gets injected with a aluminum powder and then gets stabilized. Um, I was doing some research on it and it's, it's really cool but the problem is, is that process makes it very brittle. So this is not the end process material. I could take this, get this 3D printed in wax, which is one that Shapeways does offer, and then cast it. That is another option. Um, but let me set up the camera and we can go continue from there. Okay. So let's see if after I made the adjustments, if it's still going to fit. Let's see. I may have to shorten those, but... There we go. However, look what we have here. I may just need to bolts right here, but it fits. Let's see. What I'm doing is fitting. Oops. The problem is, is taking when I took the other one off, what ended up happening was it actually broke off one of the pieces. There we go. Look what we have here. Functioning locks.
Look what we have there. So it's not, so it's perfect. I mean, you can't take it off, but then all you need to do is drop this down, those unlock, and boom. So those are actually perfect. And they do the same exact trick, but maybe make a couple small adjustments here and there. I just, I may need to make a couple adjustments to the, uh, the pegs, but these portions are fine. The pegs need a little bit of work because they're still coming loose. Those may be able to be brought in a little bit. But other than that, we have pretty much a functional product for the for the 16 incher. That is cool. And basically, let me readjust the camera and we'll take it on a test set. Okay, so basically with the locking mechanism, there's stuff in here not coming out um so a couple adjustments i still so this isn't perfect this still needs some adjustment let me the adjustments are and it could just be that it's it's mostly just so it's the pegs the pegs are not perfect so basically there's still a little bit of flex in there I need to basically bring those pegs in just a bit, but once those pegs are in, it, pretty much all I need to do with that, I think that may have been from me working on it and not noticing that I made that error, but I just need to bring that in maybe just about a centimeter, even less, maybe less than that. Reduce that in size maybe less than a centimeter. And it's perfect. And then all I need to do that. So yeah, I'll put a link down below to where the website I used to do this. Um, the, the problem I may have with decreasing the size of this though is being able to put these on. But I mean, once you get it on, but, but let me bring these in closer to give you, to show you. So as I said, not perfect, but it's literally just a centimeter, millimeter, millimeter or two away from being perfect. And it's all, it's only in that bit of adjustment. And once that's done, I just need to make it, figure out how I want to print these. And then that's done. Um, what am I going to do with these once they're done? I'll probably put them in my pot. Um, I still will be, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these when it's done, but, uh, we'll go, we'll go from there. Um, but anyways, so this, this project is not done by the least. The project will be done when these are fully done. This has its official lid, its official locking me mechanism but we've definitely made a giant stride in the process. I will give you guys an update when I have more. 
Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, you guys have a good day. Remember, get on the woods, have some fun, and see you in the next video. Bye.